Apple, why did it take you so, so long? Finally, an Apple Magic Keyboard with numeric keypad. I have been waiting for this for a long, long time. Let's take a look at my keyboard history so far. I did have Apple computers and keyboards before this particular generation, but this was one of the first Apple wireless keyboards. It had really nice clicky keys and a really nice ergonomic angle to it as well. The plus point was, of course, that apart from being wireless, it also had the numeric keypad that I really used a lot. And then after Apple released some of their laptops with chiclet style keys, came this keyboard from Apple. Now this is a superb keyboard. It's made of aluminium, so it's a metal subframe to the keyboard. It is wired, so that's one of the downsides, but it has got that required numeric keypad and a really nice feel and spacing to the keys. In fact, this was probably an easier transition from that previous clicky larger keyed keyboard than I ever imagined. And then after this particular keyboard, Apple actually launched some wireless keyboards. Now this particular keyboard is very compact, uh, almost portable in fact. It is lacking the numeric keypad, but it does have a nice angle to it. Now, one of the downsides of this compact keyboard is the fact that it run off of normal batteries. So you did have to replace these from time to time. So after this keyboard, I moved across to the Logitech K750. This was a really nice choice because it was wireless. It had the numeric keypad back again. And I rejoiced because I really do rely on this. And it also had a very, very nice feature. Across the top edge, we've got some solar panels. So the internal battery inside here is rechargeable and this would recharge from either sunlight or artificial light, negating the need to swap out batteries. But alas, one Christmas, this actually stopped working completely. I did have a second one of these that also stopped working. So I was looking for a replacement. Now I could have gone for the new generation Apple Magic Keyboard. This connects via a lightning connector to recharge the internal rechargeable battery. And it's a really nice compact keyboard. Again, with chiclet style keys, nice spacing, but it did have one important thing missing, and that is the numeric keypad. Now, not everybody uses that keypad. Some people like to have something nice and compact on their desk, but I use that all the time. So I was in the search for a replacement for this. And what I replaced it with was this one from Kanex. This is their multi-device keyboard. It connects via Bluetooth and it's got four Bluetooth keys across this top right hand edge. And this allows you to switch between four different devices, a desktop, a laptop, a smartphone, and maybe a second desktop as well. The numeric keypad was back and it's a really nicely built keyboard. There were a couple of issues though. Firstly, the tilde key is up here in this top left-hand corner, and I still haven't got used to this different placement. And secondly, the power on-off switch is on the bottom, so that's really frustrating. And it does run off of normal batteries. So again, you have to replace the batteries from time to time. After all this weight, Apple finally gave us the Apple Magic Keyboard with numeric keypad. And this is absolutely fantastic. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Now the addition of a numeric keypad might seem like a trivial thing to a lot of you, but to me, it's an integral part of my editing process. I use it all the time whilst I'm editing videos, and thus it's become part of my workflow. I waited a long, long time for Apple to release a new keyboard with a numeric keypad that was also wireless. Now this does have a lightning connector on the back. This is purely used for actually charging the keyboard and for easy pairing during first connection. And it's also got a nice little on off switch on the back so you can conserve battery life. The angle of the keyboard is really good. It's made superbly, so well engineered and the typing experience really is top notch. I've only been using this particular keyboard for 24 hours 
but I used the previous Magic Keyboard for probably about three or four months and the typing experience is identical, apart from of course this is a larger keyboard to accommodate this numeric keypad. Apple do a fantastic job on their design and I can't understand why they waited so long to launch this new keyboard. This is what I've been waiting for and I just want to say a big, big thank you to Apple for finally releasing this product. If you've got any questions at all about the keyboard or indeed any questions at all that are Apple or computer related, leave them down in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day and I'll see you in another video very soon.